Axle snapping grip. That's what happens when you put the little guy racing tires on. Let's replace this dog bone and see if we can get this thing back up and running in today's video. So I ended up choosing the Yeah Racing AXSC-043 steel front drive shafts. These are supposed, I think these are stainless. Um, they're a lot thicker than the other ones and hopefully they hold up to the, the torque and to the grip that we got with these uh, little guy racing tires. Uh, same thing running the Komodo um, with, I think it's the Lizard Pro in this one. So uh, let's get this open and take a look at what we got going on in here. So I don't know if you guys have ever done this uh, replacement before, but obviously, Captain Obvious, you got to take off the wheels. So um, these wheels, for some, or these the wheel nuts on these, I tend to just kind of hand tighten them, and uh, you know I can get a wrench on there, but these have some lug nuts on them that are kind of hard to reach sometimes. So I tend to just use my fingers and try to get in there. So. I'm trying to set all the parts off to the side kind of in sequential order. That way I know exactly where it's supposed to go and how it's supposed to go. Um, so first I'm going to start with the bottom of the C-Hub. I'm going to take off this screw, um, just back it out there. I don't use Loctite on these little guy or on these little SCX24 builds just because I don't know that the screw heads can really take a lot of that power and I'm kind of always, or power meaning trying to get the the screws out so I'm trying to keep it as quick and easy as possible so I took out the uh, the screws there and there's a bushing make sure to keep an eye on where that bushing goes and here's our problem the actual shaft, shaft sheared right at the dog bone like right at the joint so I'm trying to figure out here how to how do I get this axle out because it's pretty pretty stuffed in there so I'm gonna try to pull these uh, with the pliers and let's see if I can get this out. Time for the hammer. Looks like nothing else is working. Let's just beat it into submission. We call it the gentle persuader. Just kidding. Actually, we didn't want to hit it that hard. So I think the next bet is let's try the uh, X-Acto knife here and see if I can get right over. There's like a little shoulder on these axles and I think I can pry underneath it. So let's give that a try. Looks like I got it just enough that I can pull it out. And there's the bearing came with it. That's no big deal. And there it is. You can see where it sheared right off. Let's see if I can get this in view here sheared right off right before the dog bone right before the head so you can kind of see how thick the new ones are they're they're quite a bit heftier but they still tapered where the dog bone is so hopefully that'll be okay in the long run um let's put this bearing back on so we can slide it back into the axle housing So now it's basically just replace everything where you found it, right? Replace your divot. So we are going to try to slide this in. And of course, it's kind of like got to make sure everything lines up just right. Um, you've got to make sure the holes line up right. And don't forget the bushings. I always forget the bushings. And the bushings go in with the screws. So a trick that I like to do, well, let's get this lined up first. We're kind of fighting it. So the trick I like to do is I like to put the bushing on the screw itself and try to get it started first, but sometimes my sausage fingers don't allow it, so it takes three or four times. So I put the bushing over the screw. There we go. Now let's put the screwdriver or the driver on 
and let's try to get it seated in and it should just find the find the threads make sure not to cross thread them we don't want to do that and i don't tighten mine super duper tight i don't one it'll make a little more resistance when you got to turn it and two it's just it's brass so i don't want to strip out the threads so let's get this other one in here There we go. Just a little snug. Now we got to put on the, I forgot what they call these things. Patties, I don't remember. Grain smasher. But uh, let's put this pin back in. These are the hardest thing for my fingers. I can never grab these just right. And even with these tweezers, yep, I fight them all the time. Try them for the pliers. Well, let's see if I can get this in with my hands again. Nope. I'm going to try the pliers instead. And there we go. Try to get it kind of lined up. And now let's put the hex on. Try to get it kind of centered. And the hex should just slide right over. Might have to wiggle it back and forth. And the wheel should just slide right on. And again, I just finger tighten these. I get them pretty snug. Sometimes I'll use the wrench. I'll see if I can snug it down a little bit more. Um, but those lugs, they get in the way sometimes. So you can't really get in there a whole lot. So I either use the pliers or just use my fingers. But that should do it. And there you go, guys. Locked up. It's good to go. Let's get this thing on the rocks. I love the small or the slow, slow creepy crawly this thing does just walks right up I've been waiting for a while to get this thing back on the rocks hopefully I can uh, set up some more mini rock gardens soon so we can play around a little bit more this rear steer is really awesome I got the mighty chihuahua up front and the reefs micro 99 out back and running off the GT5 and so I use one of the dials, I think it's channel five that I'm using to do the rear steer. And I'm using a thumbstick control to actually steer the front so I can time it up just right. Incoming, boom. All right, so if you like this kind of stuff, if you like the how-to stuff, please consider subscribing. Maybe leave a comment. Have you broken this part before? What part did you use to fix it? And uh, did the fix last? How long did it last? It's the first time I've actually broken that part before. I figured it was due to the high grip that these little guy racing tires have. These tires are awesome. Swamp Kings can't talk enough about them. Super rad. I can't wait to get more time with them. But uh, yeah, on another note, where are y'all watching from? Uh, why don't you leave a comment? Tell me where you're, you're at, what state. Uh, how, how about what tools you use? Do you guys use MIP? Do you guys use the CCXRC Mighty Tool, Mighty Handy Tool? Um, let me know. I'm always interested in what kind of tools people are using. There we go, sliding off those rocks, still pulling it, pulling it down. Let's see if I can hit this from another angle. Here we go. I like getting those kind of ledge crawls where you can just hook your tires and let it pull yourself up. One of the things I still want to do, and I haven't done it yet, was uh, I want to put overdrive in the front axle. Maybe we'll save that for another video. Um, but yeah, I think that would be helpful in this kind of scenario if I could hook that tire over and let it pull me, drag me over. 
wants to. This isn't a grip thing, this is just a weight transfer thing. Can't get enough weight on the tire to pull me over, or to push me over now, I'm using the rear tire. Now I'm using that rear steer to try to get me, oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Uh. Did I break another one? No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Yep. Yep. That's not good. Well, looks like we're just going to drive it anyway. Three wheel. Let's get a let's get a little decent line if we can without having that uh, that three wheels really. Let's just send it. No, we're good. Well, amigos, guess what's coming? Another video on how to fix it.